Okay, welcome to the Dream Challenge Part 1. Now, I've already done a video on this, and a mistake was made. I accidentally didn't record the sound. The reason is because I'm using a different recorder, which I actually think is far superior. The only problem is that you can set it so that it doesn't record ambient sound or sound from the media. That's actually pretty handy because I was just recording some box out videos for something else that I was doing. But unfortunately, I forgot to switch the recording back on. Hence, last time I did this, we didn't have any sound. So this time, hopefully, uh, we will do. If we don't, then uh, I might just give up. But um, yeah, here we are. Let's see how this goes. So this is the first mission that you get to if you skip. And it's... Uh, it's a fun one. Much like keeping in line with the rest of these, it's an interesting uh, and unique map. Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, I'm bringing Glenn. I recommend that you do too. You can see that these are glowing red. That means that something bad is going to happen. Uh, specifically, a spiky comes out from over there. And this one will make a human appear, as if by magic. So what we're going to do, open it. Glenn, of course, can open something. See, see that door that opened there? It's going to be a human there. We're just going to ignore them. Just going to run by them. Having Rosita as the leader, and she is a good character... Is pretty handy because if you attack multiple enemies, you get to make a move. There's quite a lot of sort of searchy uh, missions on this one, so being able to get that extra movement is pretty handy. You can see what my strategy is here. I'm letting Godzilla and King Kong over there just fight it out. Simply open those boxes, start with the farthest one, the one closest to the left side of the screen first. Spiky comes out, and then open the other one, the human appears, and they just keep each other occupied while you just get out of there. And that is kind of the whole point. That is the purpose of the mission, to escape. I'm just using... Uh, uh, Glenn was a good choice for that one. I'm using Scouts anyway, because that's part of my daily uh, uh, challenge. And generally speaking, this was this was quite an interesting uh, uh, set of missions. Search one of the classes for supplies and get back out. Okay, I remember this one. Um, yeah, there is a. I was just wondering if whether I should bring a bow so that I can be a little bit more sneaky. I remember with this one, it's uh, I, I made a lot of noise last time. I guess I'm making a lot of noise this time too. I searched in here. I don't know if there's a significant difference between the two sides. But anyway, that, this is the one that I went for last time. This is the one I'm going for again now. Slightly cramped environment. You could, uh, you could probably argue that the yeah, arranged weapons are perhaps not the ideal thing for this mission, but hey-ho, that's what I'm using. I'm going to have a whole bunch of walkers just flooding us uh, uh, next turn. I'm going to keep hold of that charge attack. Let's... Uh, Yeah, we've got to get rid of those. Get rid of you. Searchy, searchy. Alright, and we're going to have some bad guys coming in. Let's put some distance between us and them, shall we? Well, first of all, actually... Get a couple of hits off and run away. Joys of being uh, Rosita. So you can always just avoid this whole problem by using some quieter characters, melee characters or 
you know, things like uh, uh, bows. Perhaps if you've got those that don't make any noise. I'm just, I'm just being very uncouth here. I'm being very, very noisy when I don't need to be. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. They are just normal walkers, but make sure that you've got rid of all of them before you uh, make your way to the exit. Otherwise, they're going to get you. As I said, the alternative is to bring melee characters or people with otherwise silent weapons. Glenn, definitely a good choice for this one. Or maybe Beta, you know, you can, you can sort of just nip past them. Huntsman Daryl, of course, you can just slip by those zombies and give him a shiv. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. Uh, next one, jailbreak. Free the survivors and get out. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I remember this one. Do I want... Yeah, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this same setup. I was wondering whether to bring the decimator or the obliterator for um, uh, uh, Rosie. They are, they are kind of noisy weapons, bless them. Let's give you a hit. Let's get you set a light. And then let's put you down. Reduce that threat a little bit. Hit you, set you alight. Okay, just going to use Overwatch because obviously it's quieter. Which one? What opens what here? So we've got that one at the back. Got those cables. I'm not sure which, what exactly does what. Um, Tell you what, you need to, you need to just die basically, because I don't want to accidentally free you. Oh yeah, of course. Let out those walkers, and some more come flooding in. Okay, let's put it down. Once you get past a certain point, or is it after you flicked both of the switches, new walkers don't appear, which is quite handy. There we go, we've got a tank. You know, there is one big tough bad guy that you've got to deal with. But all in all, if you take this one slowly, show some patience. Um, it's not too tricky. Try not to get swamped. There's a lot of new walkers come in every single turn until you've opened those cages. You know, just, just keep your eye out for that. Make sure that you've got a team that can handle that and you'll be okay. Lovely, getting into the quadruple digits. Always a nice place to be. Hell, judges, get to the exit, but beware. Death awaits behind those doors. Okay, this one, uh, yeah, this one can be a little bit tricky. This has got, um, yeah, this has got some explosive walkers who can really take you by surprise. There's some tight angles. There's some, some close quarters here. And, of course, if you're ranged characters... Shoot those explosive walkers, they can blow themselves up. Okay, so there we go. Case in point. Keep a distance, not a problem. I know there's at least one more left. I'm going to be a little bit cautious. There he is. Hey, dude. We're going to have a lot of walkers coming in next turn. That is obviously because we have uh, you know, we've been blowing up those explosive walkers like there's no tomorrow. Okay, these guys 
Yeah, these guys are both crispy fried. We'll let the fire do its work. Back off just a little bit. I mean, we've already made so much noise anyway that, you know, that's a little more, huh? Where are those walkers going to come flooding in from? Okay, that's not too bad. Let's deal with you guys first. Okay, there's plenty, plenty to deal with on the map here right now, but deal with it we can. Let's get you first. Hit you. Okay, we could have taken more um, melee characters. Obviously, Rosita is the star hero. Use her and you get more points from the missions. So that's, you know, that's kind of my logic here. That's why I've got another ranged character, Yumiko. But certainly melee characters, maybe not such a bad idea on this. Don't have that risk of accidentally hitting the exploding walkers. You're not building up a threat. Yeah, come on, open it. I think we're going to have a couple of walkers here. In fact, I know that we do. Back off, let's just see if they say hi. Hello. Okay, this is obviously a mission that's going to get tougher as you go up the levels and the walkers become harder to take out. Can be done though. Patience, patience for this one. Be aware of those explosive walkers, definitely. Be cognizant of the fact that there are some very tough walkers there. Two tanks, at least and a spiky, tricky to take out. Ezekiel could be a good choice with his preemptive attack, especially if you've got the Morning Star. Kill all walkers, but you never know what lies beneath those doors. Right, okay, this is, this is sort of a ranged one. We can definitely get by using ranged characters. Do we want to use Sasha? Do we want to use Sasha? Yeah, I think we kind of do. Yeah, yeah, let's let's use this little setup. Maybe I'm just more inclined to use uh, Rosita's assault rifle when I have Rosita on the team. I mean, it is a good weapon anyway. Good. Let's get rid of that. I uh, I definitely want to get rid of these barrels. The risk of you of accidentally shooting yourself is, you know, it can happen. It can happen. Might keep that one up there because uh, maybe we can use that to our advantage. Some tougher walkers will be spawning. Let's, uh, let's keep hold of that charge point, shall we? Slow these guys down. Keep an eye on them. Yeah, here we go. Here come some of those big guys looking for trouble. Uh, let's go around this way, make sure that we are just really far away from that explosive barrel. Wouldn't make Rosita's day if she got blown up by that. Yeah, she's still out of range. That's good. Good thing is there's no... There's no sort of raiders or anything. There's no... Sort of crummy... Human enemies sort of spraying bullets around and, and blowing you up. Which, you know, again, does happen.
just igniting these enemies, setting them on fire. Because it's a good way of taking them out if they're particularly tough. Doesn't matter how tough they are, that fire, we just keep burning them turn after turn. Mm -mm. You should be able to take him out. Yes, good. Okay, they seem to be willfully avoiding <laughs> that explosive barrel that I was I was thinking I might be able to actually hit them with. Doesn't matter as long as you can keep them at arm's length as we are. They aren't too much of a drama. So I do recommend a ranged team for that. Get to the back of the map and just pummel them with firepower. Obviously it works. What have we got? One more to go. Go to exit, but choose your path carefully. Oh yeah, I remember this one. Could really quickly rush to the exit. Um, do I want to do that? Come on, Daryl. This is where your talents might come in useful. <laughs> yeah, let's do this. So you've got two routes. Take the one on the right and you know what you're dealing with. Two spikies, two armoured. Take the one on the left and it seems a little bit shorter, but you're going to have bad guys spawning and a whole host of other troubles as well. Poor visibility, that's one thing. Yep, there we go, there's a new walker. Let's do this. How many should we get opening that gate? How many walkers have we got? One, two. Right, we've got another one. We've got another one waiting for us. Let's get out of the way. One, two, he would be able... Okay, now I don't know if that's got... No, it didn't. I was hoping it would get that one. I just wanted to try that out. It does not affect enemies that you can't see. I thought it might. Oh well, now I know. I knew that he was there. Shouldn't have rushed it, really. That's my mistake. Sorry, Daryl. Kind of got you injured when I didn't need to. <laughs> but I... I I always wanted that. I'd never really put it to the test, so at least that's something to know. That is definitely something to note. Maybe what I could have done is I could have given him um, a walk a mic instead. You know, you get to sneak past the enemies. I'll have to redo this and, and you know, get those maximum points. So, yeah, that's what's in store for you on that mission. That's maybe not how to do it. Show a little bit more patience than I did, and you'll be absolutely fine. Maybe uh, maybe Ezekiel would be a good one again with the Morning Star, just in case they just jump out on you. Anyway, next one should be... Yeah, so that's it. That's all of them. So there we go. That's the Dream Challenge Part 1. There's the video explaining the missions, this time with sound. <laughs> Um, interesting set of, of missions, somewhat challenging, but varied. It's a good set. It's definitely a good weekly challenge. 
So happy hunting and as ever, thank you for watching.